Joshua Hunt, he's accused of two charges of uh, of provoca- uh, prov- provocation, provocation or violence under Section 4 of the Public Order Act, which does mean that somebody had to be like, don't forget to add the gimp. Yeah, I feel like they, they, there was that. There was somebody been like, I, I just know good sir, add leather clad to this description. But there was a, it is interesting. North He's under Summers- a court order, which yes. is, which I find fascinating. I don't know how you, how you, how do you actually make sure that this is being adhered to where he says what? here, he is not allowed to wear a mask. Or possess one in a public space, according to a court order. It's yeah, gonna, you watch him, and- but then he's not allowed to wear black all-in-one clothing. So there's not even like the gimp suit. It's, it's like kind of interesting. He isn't can't it? dress like what's Steve her name, Jobs, Catwoman. Oh yes, yes. he can't because she because of course he looks. Well, he can't dress like Catwoman. Eartha Kitt and Michelle Pfeiffer, the two best cat women around. So he was also told to not crawl, wriggle, or writhe on the ground while wearing a full body covering or mask. Now, it this does is my question. seem very specific. It's very it? specific, yeah. and then a part of me wonders, like, let's just say it's Halloween. Right, but so this leads up. But to it's not thing. though. Right, let's. I mean, we're gonna get to Halloween. I don't in deal in hypotheticals. Months. How do you? I don't deal in hypotheticals. How do you live with your whole life? How do you live a whole life? Hypotheticals come up all the time. All right, it's fine. Called, it's everything you don't know. Fine, throw it at me. It's October. I mean, imagine pumpkins, <laughs> brisk feeling in here. I'm just thinking of the Batman, now. orange and black. But the, he Fear goes. So he's a tool. He's in costume, right? Let's say he. He's not allowed up. to be in costume. He, I guess at not all. And so he's got a mask on. He gets. He's not allowed to participate in Halloween at all. How much of a bummer is that? First of all, legally, you're not allowed to participate in Halloween. He overdid it. But then what? He overdid oh, he it. He really did. He was living Halloween out loud for too long. Absolutely, it's the same reason Robert Downey Jr. can't drink anymore. No, no, he, he, he overdid it. He, he just shows. Do it. He shows up at people's houses now, and Iron Man can't do that anymore. No, he cannot. Um, but he. he Let's say he in his own home. Let's say okay. No, he can't. He could ride in his own home. Let's say he's in his own house, right? Yeah. And he's uh, wearing a mask because he's gonna scare his family. Uh, He would. And then he covers himself accidentally in gasoline and gets set on fire. And then he wriggles out of his own Uh, home, right? Let's say he wriggles out of his own home. Army crawls out, right? Because he's on fire and he's trying to keep the fires from, from, from spreading to his family. And then he's rolling around the front lawn. And then a police officer, a bobby. A bobby. He comes by, right? No weapon. Totally vulnerable. Yeah, how is he, he going to put the fire out without a gun? On fire, rolling around in the grass, right? And then you think his thing's been like, one ticket for you, you pervert. Well, maybe the- Oh, you pervert. I see how you do the roar, then you wriggle. It's against the law. I like to think that UK officers would put him out first and then give him a ticket. In the US, you just get the ticket and probably burns up with your body as you die. Yeah. But nonetheless, of course, uh, the defendant is accused of using uh, towards another person threatening. Uh, abusive or insulting words or behavior with intent to cause that person to believe that immediate unlawful violence will be used against him or another by any other person. Think Has about he this. just not hung out in America? No, I don't think so. You know what it is? Is the thing about how they try to shell, they try to I don't shut think down he... Elvis Presley. Yeah. Right? And now he's out there, he's fucking, he can't even well, they wouldn't even let. They wouldn't even let his hips on television. No, they won't. That shows so, how far we've come. You really, God, have they not heard of roast humor? I mean, this is, again, we're not going to go back into how is this a crime or not. We're not going to even broach We're not going to do it. Because he is obviously now here. It's mostly just good to look at his face and understand and that's what the gimp looks like. But now, to be fair, and I think that's the most important lesson we can all learn is that to look yes. at this man's face and look at yourself in the mirror and decide: Do I want to be this man? Do I want to be the next big gimp? Because you now might. he's fighting hard against being a gimp, and which is again not what a gimp's supposed to do. I did. That's also against the gimp's culture. Well, he's well. I didn't. He's sort of defining gimp culture to me. He's kind of uh, he really shed a light on gimp culture, and I don't know if that's fair to the gimp community well, or not. Of gimp but culture, he's the most famous. He gimp is that unfortunately I know. the most gay, famous gimp outside of Pulp Fiction. And now he is well, being presented. Well, but that of course was an actor. Yeah, he was an actor. That was an actor. Now that he is, a, now we know. I've received many interesting emails about people that you are allowed to absolutely be somebody's sex slave consensually. Yeah. Of and course. now he's showing. He's trying to show that everyone's got. You got to sign on the dotted well, line if you, you, you want to make that tiny bounce. If you if you take a look at the uh, number of dog cages sold across the world and the number of dogs that are actually kept as pets, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of people using those. There's a lot so, of overlap, but. In 
interestingly enough, he can be a gimp again. This uh, all expires. All in of January. these rules, they all expire in January. So he's just going to keep will... it with his family inside of his own home. He, he, for I, Well, again, I don't know about the family uh, <laughs> situation there. Um, so I... he's pleaded not guilty. So we'll keep you updated on the Somerset gimp as uh, he's officially unmasked and on trial. You know, usually when... Um, People are masked and unmasked. Everyone's like, eh. like, remember when Kiss was like, let's take the makeup off. The and worst everyone move. was like, uh, just, just put the makeup back well, on. They there. did an unplug thing. They tried to do a thing where, yeah. which again, I love Love Gun, right? I love just lick it up. God I love made lick it up. Rock and roll. Love, oh, yeah. God, love that song. Sure. But it, it, it does have like, when you when you make it acoustic, I don't know. It, uh, you know it what, loses though? something. My friend Brian Newman, he was lick the lead. Lick it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lick it up. Lick it up. Tony Bennett might be dead, but his soul is inside of you. Can you believe he fucking died? I'm very sad. My friend Brian Newman was his number one trumpet player, and he was all over the news, and I sent him a message, and I said, I'm sorry for your loss, but isn't that amazing that he knew a legend, an icon, and the last of the crooners in Tony Bennett? 96, we'll all be lucky to get there. Mikey Buble. Mikey Buble is the new, the new crooner. Yeah, I get, but he's that, and he's the new gen. But you're right; he makes all those middle-aged women just—they love. Him. And I will say, in Blue Bay's Bublé's uh, favor, he is at least like he, if he fucked your mom, you'd be like, all right. Well, if you least... walk in and you see Ed Sheeran's pimply, uh, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to beat the shit out of him. I'm going to pull him out and fucking pull him out and beat the living fucking. No British woman gets to have sex with my mother. But Bublé, you're like, you have it, Bublé. Yo, Bublé. yeah, because you know, in a way, I kind of feel like in a way he'd be classy. He'd write a check. Oh, it definitely I would. feel like he'd show up. Yeah, he'd had sex with your mother and be like, hey, Bally, I know it's a terrible memory for you. Here's $10,000. Here's $10,000. And be like, Mr. Buble, you're welcome back anytime. All right. You're my new daddy. Well, isn't that exciting? I got some good conspiracy news today. I don't even know if I'm allowed to share about Rex Hurman's connections to the former administration. You know, I bet you can share it. It is. Yeah, I mean, I bet knows? you can share it. There's some shit, man. There's I because I don't have any data. I don't even know. I just got any. No, that's why right, it's a conspiracy theory. Uh, no data needed. I just got. What's the What's the conspiracy? It's a word on the whim. It's a word on the wind. <laughs> yeah. I got through various <laughs> <Yeah>. sources. <laughs> what's okay? Look at there. We'll find out. What we'll, job? Just I don't want to know the sources, but do they have jobs? You see this? Uh huh. Sticking your out. Stick. That's what I did. You the audience yeah. couldn't hear that. All right, so the audience couldn't hear that because I, I, I but I, I did it visibly. Yeah. So it's blowing in the wind. So what's the conspiracy? Rex Hurman mm -hmm. has he does have he has once on the payroll of the uh, Trump community uh, to for various okay. city based work. This is co apparently completely real, and he has a lot of connections to Rudy Giuliani. And there's I don't like disagree a lot with of, it. There's a bunch of schmucks hanging out with schmucks. Sure. It is very possible who knows that rex Hurman was a little bit more you think that, that giuliani was hiding the bodies with him his uh his uh job his self-appointed job of killing sex workers was his side gig well yeah you don't get that's you know that's what you don't yeah, get it's hard to it's monetize. Like when you're a weekend warrior and you it's hard it's because on patreon they, they they hate that they don't have any hitman anymore no they they're don't. really like anti the whole like pay me to kill people on the, my gold tier. The most disgusting thing is, I think if he did do a Patreon, he would probably get 10 grand a month. For what? Just being a murderer. I, I, I swear know. to God. I, some, uh, someone, you're, you're literally talking about a movie that just got pitched the moment you just said it. They have a Patreon for murderers. Yeah, yeah, that's like literally people are trying to get the stuff done. Don't worry. <laughs> Keep you updated on the Gilgo Beach Killer. That is, is that gonna. Yeah, we're gonna find out how that rolls out. Uh, but I'll, I think we'll see how my yes. uh, conspiracy, uh, my conspiracy sources, how they I, unwind these you, many webs they weave. You say conspiracy, but I think Giuliani was probably aiding and abetting in a most lot murders. Of weird shit. Um, also, lastly, from my perspective here, Brian Koberger's defense. So his defense is trying to say he was nowhere near Idaho. Um, <laughs> yeah, but like, so we, we'll see we, what like, happens. He's been like pinging off of every. That is the one thing <laughs> I, we know for a fact that where he was. We know yeah. where he was. Uh, anyway, so that's his defense. Is it? Hey, it wasn't me. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Anyway, it's interesting. I'm actually interested, though, that Koberger is actually putting on such a defense because I thought that he was going to make this like his big horse and pony show about how, how I did it. How he did it. Um, but I no. guess he's going a different direction. It's because he doesn't want to go to jail. Because he, right, I mean, he's probably right. very frightened of what's going to happen oh, yeah, when no, he goes to jail. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, a nightmare happens. for him. It's yeah, going to be a nightmare for him. As it should be. Uh, because, you know what else my conspiracy theorists have been... 
Not no, tweeting anymore. No, it's Xing. It's Xing. What a fucking I love it. It's all burning. What a fucking burn it moron. all down. What a moron. Who cares? Um, but this tomorrow, of course, today, this episode that's coming out, of course, is the side stories permanent curse, which is all of the news for some reason comes out on a Wednesday afternoon. Hump day. I don't know why. They but, do say that the most productive day of the week is the Wednesday. Monday, you're thinking about Sunday. Tuesday, you're like, I got a whole weekend. Wednesday, you're like, let me get some work done. Thursday, crunch. it's already Friday. Yeah, you know, it, yeah, that's how I feel. 